What is up, y'all, and welcome back to Queen and Shell on the channel. Y'all know we talk about fashion, beauty, and life. And y'all, today I'm just bringing y'all a good old vlog day in the life, honey. Just some awesome simple stuff. I do have a few errands to run, so I decided I'll go ahead and you know do a little vlog or what have you. Um, I don't, I should have brought my um glasses y'all but they are in the house i just have my phone i did and then i got a basic um purse today so i didn't want to weigh the purse down or whatever oh uh, like with the glasses and the da -da -da -da, whatever because the case y'all to the glasses is a little bit heavy because it's actually a charger built in as well so it's a little bit heavy Oh, before we even get into that, because y'all know I like to talk. Before we get into the vlog, make sure that you do like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, never forget to tell a friend to tell a friend about Queen Michelle, because y'all know how we do on the channel. Now, y'all, I am sitting in my driveway, and I had to, of course, let the car warm up a little bit. The car is warm. Um, I need to get some gas. Um... And then, of course, like I said, we're going to do a little uh, ripping and running. I got to go to the post office. And I think I want to go to, like, Ross uh, in Burlington. I don't really shop in Marshalls that much. I think because Marshalls will be a little bit higher than Ross. But we might go in Marshalls because it is, like, right there by Ross or whatever. Um, I don't really need nothing. And I was doing, like, a 60-day you know, no shopping, whatever, whatever. But I think we need some new, um, like, bath towels. Not that we need a whole bunch, but the ones that we have been having them for, like, over a year. And then some of them uh, have been, like, bleached and, you know, like that or whatever. So, I don't know. And then also, I do want to decorate the dining room. I do not decorate the dining room at all um, since we've been here since 2022. But I think I want to decorate it, so I am looking for a couple of little things to go in the dining room. Also, y'all, I plan to uh, take pictures of some clothes to put on the website, and I think it was some shoes as well. I plan to do a lot today. I do have to go to the office tomorrow, so I want to be done. It's 1226 right now, and I want to be done uh, doing whatever I need to do by like three o'clock or whatever, and then when I get home, take a couple of little hours to work on the website. Y'all, the website is uh for the most part done. It's not gonna be real lavish or nothing like that. One because I'm not no tech type person. Um, and the last website I had was so like techy. It was like too much for me to handle. This one seems to be pretty um basic. I may make it just like simple, cute. I'm going to have to toy around with it. But it ain't going to be nothing extreme. It's really going to be straight to the point. Um, You know, a list of the items. And, like, I am going to do, like, different little categories. Because I am going to have digital products as well on the website. Um, So, yeah. It's going to be like that. But it's not going to be, like, you know, over the top or whatever. Because I'm just not that tech savvy. Um, But, yeah, that's really the gist of today. I don't know if I'm going to record me driving around. I don't really know, y'all. I don't really know a lot of things until I actually do them. And yes, honey, I am asking you because, y'all, I just had to wash my hands like three times. And I don't I don't know when the next time I'm going to have to wash them. So I don't want to put on no lotion. Let's just keep it out of the way real. I, I, sometimes I don't like putting on lotion on my hands because I wash them so much. Like, throughout the day or whatever. And it just seems, like, so pointless sometimes to um actually put lotion on. And I had to take my jacket off because I put the purse on, then my jacket, y'all. And I, I don't like when I do that. So, I had to, you know, uh, take my arms out or whatever. But, y'all. Okay, so now we have my jacket back on. I don't even know what I want to eat, but I am hungry. And I could have fixed me something in the house, y'all. And I'm trying not to hit nothing coming out of the driveway. Um, 
And y'all, so I'm looking at the back of camera. Um, I use both. I use my mirrors and the, the little rear camera thing or whatever. But I'll see y'all in a minute, actually. Um, I get, maybe in the post office, depending on if it's crowded. If it's crowded, y'all, I'm not going to have, like, recording or whatever like that. And that's kind of one thing about vlogging. Sometimes when I'm out, I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable. Now, I love, like, looking at vlogs and stuff like that. But I don't want to really make nobody feel uncomfortable. But I do want to get content. But, um... Anyway, I'll come back on the camera maybe when I'm getting food or either when we get to Ross or something like that. But I'll be back in a minute. So, what's up, y'all? I just left out of the post office and, y'all, it literally was a line of people in the post office. Just like I already kind of knew Okay, I had to pause because somebody was coming around the corner now. But I had, um, anyway, I already kind of knew it would be a line. And I had, so I didn't record, of course. But I am leaving the post office. And y'all, I am hungry. I am, I really, I want some checkers. And then I want some McDonald's chicken nuggets. Because I love McDonald's chicken nuggets. I don't know if they real or not. I feel like they are real, though. But, of course, you know, we live in a world where everything is not good for you. If you ain't growing it, you know, yourself. Which is kind of true, but, you know. I'm not a one, I'm not 100% on my health kick. Um... Although, I do think I'm going to make me a blend, a smoothie, a blend, whatever, um, when I get back to the house because I got a taste for one. But I do think I want, I'm not cutting this way, which is a one way, but I think I do want some uh, checkers because checkers fries are good and their food is pretty good. And I think I also want some McDonald's chicken nuggets. Y'all ain't never came this way, and I see why. It's a one way, and I shouldn't even came this way because I'm circling around where I'm even trying to go for real. But y'all, I'll be right back when we get some food, and that way I can talk to y'all. Or I might eat. I don't know. I might show y'all what I got. We're just going to do a little vlog. Whatever comes on the TV or the computer or your phone just watch it um it's all good content and y'all love me here on queen michelle so i'll be back in just a minute y'all so what is up y'all um i'm just popping in because i'm at the gas station right now so y'all really i'm trying to get in the sun so y'all can see me but i'm at the gas station um filling up or whatever which I already had like a little over a half but I'm topping it off okay so it didn't even take the whole $25 y'all but I'm gonna try to force it's like a dollar some change I'm gonna try to force it in the tank but give me a second okay y'all so I'm back I had to force the little dollar and some change in there because I didn't want to go get a receipt for like a dollar and some change or something like that for it to go back on my card. But um, we are on our way. Yes, honey, we are on full. Um, but we're on our way. Um. Back across the street, I just went to a Kroger to get gas. Now we back going back across the street to go to um, Burlington and Target. Give me one second. Okay, so we back, and I'm just getting in the VIP in the front, y'all. So, yeah, we are at Burlington. Now, I, I know uh, we needed 
I mean, we need some bath towels potentially. Um, so I'm just going to price some and see what's what. And y'all just had to get straight in the spot. I don't like to be crooked or nothing like that. Because for one, I don't want nobody to open their car door and hit mine. Or, you know, can't park straight because I'm crooked or whatever. Um, but yeah, we're about to go in Burlington. I think I'm just going to kind of um, show. I don't know if I'm going to show stuff I like. Or how I'm going to do it. Because I got my phone, y'all. And I should have just put my glasses on. I wasn't even thinking about it really until I got in the car. And I just wasn't about to go back in the house. I just wasn't. Um, But I'll be back when we get in Burlington. Give me a second. Thank you. 
So what's up y'all i'm back in the car from uh burlington and i just went in ross and y'all only got two things in ross i will show y'all um what i got and i only got i got me like some kind of dress and it's a calvin klein but look y'all it was 8.99 i hope y'all can see that it was 8.99 um, and it's a Calvin Klein. I think it's a dress. Um, but it is so cute. And I'm going to try it on because really it looks a little bit different from some that I normally would get. But at $8.99, we can see what it's hidden for. And if it's not good, we might put it on the website or bring it back. But see, this is like, I don't know if this is around the waist. And then it's like a skirt kind of at the bottom. I had to see it on, but it is real cute. And I like the zip pockets. It looks really good. Um, Long sleeve. Y'all know I love me some black. So I'll try this on. And I'll insert a clip in the video with me um, in it. And if I like it, then I will style it. And then I picked this up for baby. This was just on like a just a random buy. Um, it is Michael Kors, as y'all can Michael Kors, as y'all can tell. And baby um has um a blue. It's like a navy blue Michael Kors like wallet, and then it has the smaller card wallet in it. And um, baby only carries the little small one. So I thought this was perfect for $20, y'all. Um, for just a little card while he likes this. And he only carries this out of the set that I got him uh, maybe a year. Maybe last year. I got him um, a Merce with this same uh, Michael Kors. Like, uh, I think they call it like monogram, I believe. Um, but it's navy blue. And then he has the navy blue wallet and then the car wallet um i got him that last year but i know he'll like this because he likes just the little car wallet and then it has some kind of little keychain or whatever so he may throw that on his keys i'm not sure but i thought this was nice for 20 dollars for michael kors on um, little gift set but y'all that's all i got at ross um burlington they had some little off-brand um uggs Y'all, I was a little bit, you know, leery about getting them because I really have, um, I mean, I really like the Uggs brand or whatever, but the shoe is cute and I know I can make it look cute, um, but I just don't know if I should have got Uggs, but I didn't even get them because they was too big, so I tried them on and they was like this much too big, so that's a big gap and, you know, my foot slipped right in and slipped right out. So that was a no-go, but they were like olive green and they were platform. That was so cute, y'all. Um, and then I think I saw maybe one other thing, but it wasn't really a lot. So I didn't really end up getting nothing out of Burlington. Um now I'm on my way. Y'all can see me leaving Ross in the background, but they have a lane brand. Which I don't really know if I want anything out of Lane Bryant because sometimes like uh the plus size stores like Lane Bryant, um, what's what's another Ashley Stewart? Some places like that, they'd be a little testy. You know, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna spend thirty or forty dollars on like a shirt. I just don't know. Um so I might not go in um the sun got me, y'all. Hold on. I'm not going to Lane Bryant for that reason. Um, I didn't even go in Marshalls because I really never, ever 
find anything in Marshalls. They have like maybe one or two things out of, I don't know. Oh, they have had only that one or two things out of, I don't know how many um things. I mean, how many times? I'm sorry, y'all, because I'm driving. I don't know how many times I've been in Marshalls, and they don't ever really have nothing for plus size that much. And y'all, I'm about to go to Sonic and give me a cup of ice water because I am very thirsty, and I drank my uh, cranberry juice earlier when I ate. And y'all, let me tell y'all something. I started a um story time in a mukbang and y'all I couldn't even finish it because I just cannot eat and talk at the same time and y'all this traffic is ridiculous but um I just cannot eat and talk at the same time so I'm just gonna redo um the video and give y'all a story time because okay now we gone but I'm just going to redo the video and give y'all a story time because I still want to bring y'all the story. Um, but I just had to, I had to delete what I started with that, um, mukbang, 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 because it just is a no. <laughs> it's a no, y'all. I just cannot eat and talk. Um... And it could be because, I don't know if it's because of, like, um, Bell's palsy. I know y'all can kind of tell that my mouth does not, um, it doesn't fully operate the way it used to before Bell's palsy. Um, I think I'm recovering well, um, but I still don't, I'm not at 100%, because, like, my mouth right here, and then not to mention y'all, um, dealing with Bell's palsy, and when I was 31, um, I had my wisdom teeth taken out at the bottom and the dentist bruised my nerve. So my, my mouth at the bottom was always a little bit funny. It never fully rejuvenated. Like, so my nerves, it's still kind of numb, um, all the time. And then with the Bell's palsy, of course, um you know, affecting my speech and the way I function, you know, my mouth function or whatever. So maybe that's why I can't talk and eat. I don't know, but I tried it and it was just like, no, because I couldn't get enough of the story. out. It wasn't like an equal ratio. If you get it, I couldn't get the story out and then chew. And then I was smacking. It was just doing too much. So I'm still going to bring y'all the story time though, but uh, let me give me some ice water because I am thirsty, y'all. Thank you, Trisa. So my name's Al. Um, I just need a um, Route 44 ice water with light ice, please. That's kind of good for That's it. Alright, so it's gonna be eighty eight cents. You have my restaurant. So yeah, yeah, I had to give me a Route forty four water because I am very thirsty, y'all. Um I don't know why I got a loose dollar. But anyway, I'm so thirsty, y'all. And I'm really on my way back to the house. I could stop in Rainbow. I might. I don't know, y'all. Because, I don't know. I might stop in Rainbow. I don't know yet. Um, I'm thinking about it. But being as though I don't really need nothing, I might not. I might be okay with just a little one little dress and then that wallet for baby. Um, cause y'all, I love, love, love to shop. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all love to shop. Um, and of course I don't need nothing, but I just love to shop. I love to see, you know, what the stores have. I love, you know, getting a deal like that Calvin Klein dress for $8.99. Like get real. I mean, that's a great, great deal. Um, because we all know if we got that in Macy's or something like that, that dress would have been all of uh, 60 to $70, if not more. 
hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I got my water and I had to guzzle like the water. Yeah, I still got some, but y'all had to drink a lot of it. Like my mouth was so dry. Probably from that cranberry juice for real. Look at that sun. But probably from the cranberry juice for real. But my mouth was so dry, y'all. And y'all, I don't know if y'all drink water a lot. They say water ain't even really good for you. They say you're really supposed to get your water from like watermelon and like, you know, uh, fruits and stuff like that. But I love me some just regular, well, not regular water because I do not drink tap water. But y'all don't know what I mean. Just regular purified or spring water. I love me some water. And y'all, I think I might go in the rainbow. I'm going to go in the... <laughs> I'm going to go in there just to see what they have. One, just because I'm already out. And y'all, I got to edit like two videos. I did a cooking video um, last night. Uh, this vlog and then I'm going to do y'all a story time because the story time is juicy y'all and then once I post the story time y'all let me know if y'all want me to tell y'all like more stories or whatever okay go sweetie the light is green thank you um but y'all let me know if y'all want me to post like more story times because I really want my channel to be like all around you know story times whatever whatever i don't necessarily want to have uh four or five channels i mean i don't know maybe when like if i'm a big youtuber and somebody else like manages my channels or something i don't know but y'all just having this one channel and keeping up you know keeping up the maintenance and editing and just making sure that i post content and stuff like that that's a lot for me. Um, well, it's not a lot, but if I had to do several of them, it would be overwhelming. On top of working a nine to five right now, because y'all know the goal is to get out of the nine to five world, y'all. I'm, I am like really over the nine to five work life. Um, I'm just kind of over it. And what's so crazy, y'all, I determined it's not even really the job. It's more so the people at the job. Because when you give the wrong individuals um, authority, that right there kind of shifts, you know, the energy in the workplace. And that's really what the issue is. It's not necessarily the job itself. It's the individuals who have some authority, you know, like that. And y'all, I'm just not one of them kind of people. I'm like who I am all the time. Like I, I don't switch, you know, who I am because of really nothing. I mean, only, like if you make me mad or something, of course, because you making me mad. But like other than that, like on a day, day to day basis, it doesn't matter what I do. And y'all, I came from being like a manager in retail uh, to my current job. And y'all know I'm a federal agent or whatever. Um, when I was a manager, I was cool. I don't, I don't treat people, you know, differently because I'm a manager. I don't, I don't do people like that because for me, what if the shoe was on the other foot? I, because me personally. I don't care what nobody's title is. You're going to respect me in a way that you want me to respect you. I don't care what the job is. That's that's off, off top. But what I'm saying is, why even put people in a position um, to where they feel like they have to, you know, um, you know, not not necessarily protect themselves. It's a word that I'm looking for. It's, it is protecting yourself, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Why we put people in a position to feel like they're going to have to, you know, uh, do this and do that? And, you know, it's just a lot. Instead of just being, 
you know, chill. If the work is getting done or whatever like that, why not just be chill? But you got people that just want to let you know they the boss. But in my opinion, it's people like that. They either can't control their personal life and then they bring it to the workplace or either they get in control in the personal life and when they come to the workplace, they feel like they got authority. It's one of the two because what kind of individual you know, get satisfaction from just, you know, being in a BLTCH. <laughs> like, what kind of person gets satisfaction from that? You got to be, like, real, like, mentally, you know, you know, I, I, I'm trying not to use profanity, but y'all know I, I'm a cusser, really. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I cuss in my real life, y'all. But when I come on the channel, I really don't ever have a reason to be mad or nothing. I love, like, all the energy y'all bring to the channel. I love, you know, all the positivity. Y'all always kind of like, oh, I love this. You look so cute. And, you know, just like girl time or whatever. But, y'all, in my personal life, I'm a cusser. And I got to be honest. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But I try to be chill, you know. But sometimes people will take you out of your element, you know. But overall, long story short, dealing with like, you know, low down, controlling, conniving, liars and stuff like that. Because that's, that's what I'm surrounded by, y'all. I'm telling you, in the 9 to 5, well, work world, I'm talking about underhanded, look you right in the eye and just lie. I mean, it's real. It's really outrageous, for real. But anyway, I don't let I don't let that steal my joy. Even when I get mad, I try to redirect my energy because I know that's what the enemy wants, and I already know. And it's so crazy to me because you got people that'll tell you like, "Oh, I'm a minister." I told y'all before. Don't let nobody pray over y'all because people will pray on you and not pray for you. But I have people saying all kind of stuff, reading the Bible. You doing that, that don't, that don't do nothing for me. Because I go off of your actions, you know. So, okay, I know you're going to slow down. Do y'all do that? Do y'all look behind y'all in the rearview mirror to make sure the individual behind y'all slowing down? Because, honey, you going a little bit too fast, sweetie. But anyway, y'all see how the sun catching me in the car. But anyway, y'all, y'all always stay 10 steps ahead of the enemy. Try to keep, you know, your moves silent. Do you. And then just pop out when you need to pop out. Because that's really where I'm at with it. I'm doing me in the background. And at the end of the day, when I pop out, it's just going to be that on that. And, you know. So, that's just a little word to the wise. Y'all know I'm always trying to give y'all some motivation. And y'all know the devil is definitely always busy. And, honey, we see them portray the devil as a little cartoon character that's red with horns. And in all actuality, honey, it's devils all around you in human form. So, just keep your eyes open and keep your ears. I mean, keep your ears open and your eyes open as well so listen and pay attention also pay attention to the way people move pay attention to like you know words because people will try to do word play you know so just pay attention and always you know try to stay on your square we all fall and we all you know have to brush ourselves off there's life but for the most part, don't let nobody trick you out your spot. You are a winner. You will succeed. And that's just that on that. And that's from God in the universe. And I, I put that over everybody's life who support Queen Michelle, um, the brand and Queen Michelle channel. We're going to win over here. And we're going to have good times over here. And we're going to speak life into each other over here. You need to... 
see what I'm saying, y'all. If y'all could see this B word driving this car, look like she trying to text and drive. Let me let me get off the road because see, if she hit my car. I already know me. I even jumped out and hit her. You need to slow down, winch. Y'all told y'all I got I got a potty mouth for real. That wasn't even nothing though, but trying to keep it cleaned up for y'all. I don't wanna. Y'all, do y'all want me to go to Rainbow? I just went in Rainbow not too long, but they really even have nothing. Ugh. We just went to Rainbow not too long ago. They really didn't have nothing. And it's after Christmas. Y'all think they done got in a new truck? What y'all think? I'll be back on the camera in a minute. I'm going to get myself together and determine if we're going to go to Rainbow, y'all. So, what's up, y'all? As y'all can already tell, we are in the house. I got the lights turned down. I got the camera facing me trying to show y'all the lights, y'all. But I got the light down low in the uh, living room. But, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all baby's gift. I wrapped it like a Christmas gift just to be doing something. Um, It just took a little small little piece. But I'm going to put this on his table so when he comes in from work, he'll see that he has a little gift. Um, Y'all just like to do random stuff like this sometimes. I'm always doing stuff like that. But, y'all, give me a second, and we're about to try on this dress. I'm going to go in the content room, set up the camera, and then I'll show y'all me in this dress that I just bought. So, give me a minute. Okay, y'all. So, I have on the dress, and it is actually the bomb. I love this. This is so freaking cute. I was a little bit concerned because of this. It looked like it was going to be way lower than this. It looked like it was going to be in a weird little area. But this is so freaking cute. Um, Love it. Even long sleeves. I will wear it down like this. Of course, I'll show y'all the whole thing. And I am going to style this. This is really, really cute. I really didn't know how it was going to look on. But it's actually cute. Y'all let me know what y'all think. And then with the pockets... That is so freaking cute. I wish they had other colors. They only had black. Um, but I wish they had other colors because I really, really like this. And I actually may wear this um, to the office because y'all know I go to the office once a week. I may actually wear this with my Uggs or even um, my all black knee boots. I don't know which ones yet. Probably the knee boots with long socks. Um... But yeah, this is so cute, and I like how this turned out. I like this. This is real cute, and it's real comfortable and stretchy. I love the little zip here, even though I would never totally unzip it like that, but you can. I think this is cute. So yeah, this is that dress. But y'all, this is um the end of, and also don't worry about this bra, y'all, because these things are heavy, but anyway, and I got on like a random little, you know, nothing, no underwire, no nothing. But anyway, we're going to end the vlog right here. Um, I will have this video up, of course, sometime this week. Um, thank y'all for always supporting the channel. And y'all already know what it is, honey. We are out.